what causes retroplacental hematoma when your placenta starts detaching over a large area that can cause a hematoma in between your uterine wall and placenta unfortunately this hematoma occurs behind your placenta so it is really difficult to detect this hematoma compared to subchorionic hematoma the source of bleeding is probably from spiral arteries or vessels uh, from where uh, your fetus get oxygen supply and valuable nutrition do you feel bleeding when you have retroplacental hematoma uh, in general you will not feel any kind of bleeding uh, because your blood will start clotting behind the placenta and you wouldn't be able to detect as i said before uh, but in few cases you can have vaginal bleeding in which trimester you can have retroplacental hematoma usually this hematoma occurs in third trimester if you are diagnosed with retroplacental hematoma in third trimester then you can have chances of premature delivery or c section delivery why retroplacental hematoma occurs unfortunately you shouldn't blame yourself because you cannot control this situation at all but the placenta abruption is the main reason of causing retroplacental hematoma how this hematoma can be detected as i said before you won't feel any kind of vaginal bleeding only the ultrasound can tell you that you have retroplacental hematoma and specially you have to go for color doppler ultrasound because of blood clotting your placenta gets thicker than its usual size at the time only the color ultrasound can tell you that you have this kind of hematoma the color ultrasound will tell you about the blood flow in the vessels so that's why uh, your obstetrician will use color doppler ultrasound can this hematoma be resolved unfortunately no uh, compared to subchorionic hematoma this situation is more dangerous because if you have subchorionic hematoma it can be resolved by its own or you, you can have progesterone tablet that can really help to resolve subchorionic hematoma once your uh, placenta starts detaching you cannot uh, recover this situation and if you are in your second trimester most of the time you will end up by miscarriage or abortion if you are in your late third trimester then you have to go for premature delivery through c section only and that's the only solution how it affects your baby if you are in your late trimester or i would say around 30th week of your pregnancy then you shouldn't be worried much but you will be needing neonatal care uh, but overall uh, your baby would be safe after that hematoma these are the most common question comes into your mind when you are diagnosed with retroplacental hematoma uh, i hope you have liked this information if you really think that this information helped you then please take a moment to subscribe my channel i will see you in my next video